Hello guys, welcome to codersart.com and our PySpark tutorial series. In this video, we are going to show you by performing the data analysis on Zomato dataset. For that, we are using Jupyter Notebook. So before we start, if you want to know more about uh, more information about PySpark, you can watch our previous video. We have created a playlist of PySpark tutorial series. You will get all the videos uh, in the playlist. So now let's start. So uh, here we have two Zomato data set for data analysis. In this data, uh, data set have all over the world informations. So in this analysis, our goal is to find how many countries how many uh, restaurants in this data set and at last find out top 10 popular Q signs from all among the all countries. First of all here we initialize the PySpark and then here I created a Spark session. I have already explained it in the previous video. Here we load the dataset using PySpark Spark read operation and data frame. Here I provide the location of data and here header equals to true because in the dataset have heading is present. Here I show the first five rows data df.show. And here display the print schema. It shows the all the column names, data types, and it provides the null level equals to true or not. Now here I will count the number of columns and rows present in the data set. So for that Sorry guys. There are 9557 records present in the data set and 21 columns. So now here I drop the null values if they are present in the data set using drop in a function. And I am storing it in a new variable name as df2. Now let's see how many records are present in the dataset after dropping the null values. I'm copying this code. Sorry guys. Now here you can see after dropping the null values, the number of records present in the data set is 9536 records.
Now here I am printing the list of all column names. It will be easy to see the name of column name while data analysis. Now let's see how many are unique countries in the data set. Here I use the country column, country code column and uh, use distinct method. It will return the unique values and uh, after that uh, we use uh, count function. It count the number of unique values and if I get this run. Now let's see how many unique restaurants present in the data set. So for that uh, I am using for count the unique restaurant restaurant ID. I copy this name. Apply the distinct method and then count function. Sorry guys, here is df2. There are 9536 restaurants. Now let's find out top 10 cuisines made by restaurants among 21 countries. Sorry guys, it will be 15. So guys here we use a flat map function. Uh, a flat map is a transform operation. It returns a stream consisting of the result of replacing each element of the given stream with the content of mapped stream produced by applying the provided mapping function to each element. So let's see. We use the QSense column and converts in RDD. Then apply flat map. Lambda. I am storing it in a variable name is q sign.
and run the cell. And the result will be like this. See. Now here I am uh, import Spark context to creating Spark context. For that, from by SQL by Spark import Spark context is equals to Spark context dot get or create after creating spark context now here i am applying the parallelize on above result of q sign I am storing it in, in QSign RDD. It reading QSign to RDD object using Spark context. Now here apply flat map on above result q sign rdd here i am using flat map function and split the word with space and count Here I am using the flat map function and split the word with space and count as one for each word and store it in variable map. Let's check the result map.tick. Sorry guys, something wrong. Here is a bracket. Now this is the right. Now here we get the result. After that here, apply the reduce by key and lambda function to count the each unique word. So,
basically reduce by key function works only for rdd which contain key and value pairs kind of element so let's see result Sorry guys. You can see we will get the number of count of each word. So uh, before we check uh, top 10 most popular Q signs made by restaurants among 10, uh, 15 countries. Let's check uh, total number of Q signs present. So for that, print total distinct Q signs. And com dot collect. There are 250 this unique Q signs. So now let's check top 10 most popular Q signs made by restaurant among 51 countries. So for that I am sorting this in um, descending order and display the first 10 records so that we get the top 10 Q signs. So, at top counts, top take order. I said the top 10 records equals to lambda a one. Minus one, and I'm storing it in variable. Top ten Q sign. These are the top 10 Q signs made by restaurants among 15 countries. So thank you guys. That's it for today. Thank you.